As the runt of the group, Tannis always had to fight harder than his brethren, just to get an equal share. And because of this, he often went cold and hungry when there wasn't enough to go around. One of Tannis' earliest memory involved a glittering gem found in the boot of a drunken warrior the Horde had ambushed one night. Tannis discovered the gem while looting the body and was enraptured by the way light danced off each one of its shining surfaces. He held that gem and kept it as his own for weeks, peering at it in secret whenever he was sad or scared. But when one of his brothers caught him holding the glimmering stone, his only possession was taken from him and bartered for food and weapons for the horde. Tannis felt an uncontrollable greed for something of his own and swore vengeance against his brethren. Sometime later, a group of adventurers came into their valley. Tannis, out scavenging for food on his own, overheard one of the adventures, an elf briefly speaking in goblin tongue. Seeing his opportunity for revenge, he approached the adventurers with an offer. He would guide them through the goblins' secret tunnels and pass their traps in exchange for a share of their treasure. When they agreed, being the loot hoardy bastards that they are, he expected them to break the agreement and turn on him. But to his surprise, once the rest of the horde was dead, the adventurers honored their promise and gifted Tannis a sack of gold before going their way. Once Tannis got a possession of his own once again, he felt a burning desire for more. What he held in his hand simply wasn't enough to fill the hole in his heart. He paid his way into traveling caravans of merchants and learned all that he could of value of trade. He was able to double, then triple his wealth, and before long, he had massed a small fortune. He developed a reputation as a mysterious and eccentric trader due to his proclivity for sending proxies and representatives to deal with all but the wealthiest of clients. But again, simply amassing wealth wasn't enough. Ever since that glittering gem caught his eye, ordinary goods held little and no value to him. He began to trade in rumors, tales, and lost antiquities, and one-of-a-kind treasures. We will continue this tale in the comments.